Keep your head on a swivel. You just never know where a snake's gonna turn up. Don't even breathe. All right, you got me. A little overkill, don't you think? You let me worry about that. Where did you send that drone? I don't know what you're talking about. Bum! No more time for playing with toys. Let's get out of here. Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Review. Today, we're taking a look at the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified series, Cobra Island Firefly. And you know what the Cobra Island means? Target exclusive. Ugh. Remember the first batch of Cobra Island figures? It was a complete cluster. At the time, we hoped Target would learn a lesson. They would order more next time. They'd stock it better. They put it on the online store, put limits on it, something. At least so far, they haven't learned shit. So special thanks to Nate, who without his help, I wouldn't have this at all. But I am a silver lining kind of guy. You all know this. In my head, I think, well, it's early. It, maybe it'll change here in the next couple weeks and things will get better. But then again, I don't have high hopes because of past experience with, well, this line in general, really. Looking at the package, it's what we're used to with the G.I. Joe Classified series. It's the big window. You see most of what you're getting in there. The Special Missions Cobra Island logo. Might as well say, good luck. Original artwork by different artists here on the front of the character. And then you get around to the side and it's more of the same. There's Firefly looking over his shoulder, peeking out, and his drones flying out. Explosions! On the back, what we saw with the first wave, a map of Cobra Island, a couple of spots zoomed in. And then there's room for another zoomed in spot somewhere over here. Are we getting another wave in the future? Please no. Down here is the warnings, or well, just parents. And <laughs> I guess it points out figure and six accessories. And then of course, don't put them in your mouth. On the other side, he is numbered 21 in the series. And then here's what we get for modern style file card. And looking on Hasbro's G.I. Joe site, that is covert ops level four, classified level four, explosives level three, and sabotage level four. Can't stand it. On the top, Cobra logo 21 or 15, eh? On the bottom, more legalese barcode. You may want to get a picture of that if you are stalking targets, but let's get this open and see if this is worth all this trouble. Is it the bottom that's easier to go through? Uh, yeah, looks like it. Lots of dead space, but that's because of the packaging pictures. You can pull this out, you get the Cobra Island logo with the cancel and the flying and the and then if you want to keep the file card, it's over on the side of that, you just clip it. Oh, so bad. Initial thought, right out of the gate, I love this figure. But I kind of knew I would because I love the figures that 90% of this figure reuses. Does that make sense? I, I've said that five times and it's still not making sense in my brain. The arms, the hands, and the torso are from Beachhead. And I know that because Nate also sent a picture of Firefly without his torso gear on. His torso gear. You know, the gear on his torso. The crotch under there and then the legs down to the boot are reused from Snake Eyes. The knee pads give it away. And then finally the boots are reused from Destro. Which is not a huge problem. If the parts work, they work. And because of the overlay on the torso, the new head, and then especially the paint job, it helps differentiate it from those other figures. And really, the parts just have an excellent sculpt to them. The texture of the material with the up and down seams just running down to the wrist, but it also has this flat pad running around the wrist and then up the back of the arm. The legs also have that flat pad on the outside of the hip that matches up to there, even though it's from two different figures. And then the sculpting to the pants, that has a different texture to it, a material, and then the wrinkles. The knee pads look like they run all the way around the back of the legs, even through the double knee articulation joint. The boots have some kind of futuristic... In fact, this coming from Destro, maybe Destro supplies Cobra boots. Footwear for everybody! But then the overlay on the torso, because Firefly is a demolition expert, I guess he needed some kind of bomb gear. You gotta protect your crotch, it has this plate hanging down, and it actually looks like it's been used. So Firefly is probably happy that's covering his junk. Have some pouches on the front, holding parts of bombs, or, or something, I don't know. Whatever Firefly would carry in these. Painted straps coming up towards the neck, you can see some sculpted details to the armor itself. It's some plate at some seams that comes up and over towards the face because hey you got to protect your neck shoulder pad on the right side a softer material so it will get up and out of the way but it looks like a heavy plate cobra logo tampoed on there on the left side there's grenades hanging out and over those aren't as soft but 
I don't think they'll actually get in the way unless you're trying to go straight up and over. The back has all that same kind of detail. In fact, it's a really, really nice sculpt. It just has no paint to bring any of that out. Here on the front, you have some black, the black on the straps, the black on the pouches, the silver on the buckle. Back here, then there's the butt flap hanging down. It has more wear and tear to it. And those are both very thin, so no problem getting up and out of the way. And then, like I mentioned, it is a new head sculpt too, and oh man, <laughs> they do it so good. Between Beachhead and this, for figures that only have eyes sticking out, everything else is covered, it is so much personality. And as you can see, it is not the same head sculpt. It is completely different. Even the skin tone's a little bit more realistic on Firefly. But there's also that crazy look. Uh, to the right, it's a normal guy, except for you know, all the bomb gear and the camouflage. But you turn to the left and, oh, he's a bit unhinged. You don't want to run into him in a dark alleyway, especially when he's holding dynamite. Well, I guess you don't want to run into anybody in a dark alley with dynamite, but... What do I know? The mask is a different sculpt from Beachhead, but it still does a good job of making it look like it's a continuation of the shirt. I have these flat panels over the ears, maybe those muffle explosions or something, since he's around those all the time. Then it's also flat over the mouthpiece. Nice wrinkle to it. It's off to the side a bit, again, adding to that uh, crazy bastard look. And then even more asymmetry, it looks like it's sitting down on the head but it has this bump or wrinkle up into it. It just throws you off when you're looking directly at it. There's so much going on, even just at the head. But what I really like is the camouflage pattern. It's smaller than what we saw with Gung Ho. It's more intricate with the whites and the blacks and the grays. Or, well, I guess the gray would be the plastic itself, so white and black on top of it. It doesn't go over the flat spots, but that kind of integrates the knee pads into the overall design where the flats also match up. But it's not painted on the torso under the bomb gear. Which I understand, they didn't make this removable. You can take it off if you heat up the arms and pop them out, slide this up and over, and it has more of a traditional Firefly look that way, but it also has that classified series long neck where they sculpt it that way because of the overlays to the torso to make it look more realistic. Also, just to point it out, I scared the hell out of myself because I went to rotate the legs up and... I got a stress mark right here where the peg goes into the crotch piece. So if you're feeling unsure about it, heat it up, move it around. In fact, I may go back later, pop the legs off completely if I can. I've never done that. You can see those nubs up in there. I want to give those just a slight sanding to see if I can knock them down a bit. But going over articulation, there is a ball at the top of the neck with a hinge. Then there's a ball joint at the bottom of the neck going down into the body. This guard is slightly thin. It has some give to it. So if you want to look up, not a problem. Down, it does run into that. It's going to hold it off. But at the same time, he's looking down at a bomb. He doesn't want it to blow up in his face. There is some tilt, but only within the confines of this guard. Then, of course, swivel. Butterfly joint, to torso to shoulder. Goes back, goes forward. Hinge at the shoulder that comes up to 90. And again, this shoulder pad... Not a problem getting out of the way. Even when you go to rotate it all the way around, it will raise up and out. Swivel at the bicep. Double elbow. Eh, not quite all the way up, but impressive range. Swivel at the wrist and then hinges in and out, even though there's a trigger finger there. Because this is reuse of beach head, it seems Firefly is a lefty because the up and down is on the left. There's the standard hinge at the abs and then a ball joint at the waist under there. But as soft as this is, the middle, it's just a trap cone because it's closed but you can get some hula hoop action at the bottom drop down at the hip so you can bring that forward up to 90 back out oh all the way look at that better than spider-man you do get a little rotation at the ball coming out to the hip but then there's also a swivel at the thigh double knee i haven't actually done this yet oh not a problem at all that's why the butt plate has so much wear and tear firefly kicks his own ass swivel at the boot hinge at the ankle goes back goes forward and then forward facing pin for rocker for accessories firefly comes with a pair of goggles you can either have that sitting up on his forehead like he's a out to start building a bomb or when he does start building that bomb you can pull him down over the eyes and that's not really a problem at all i usually go ahead and put it over the eyes and then push the back down you can still see some skin like we did with the cobra trooper but i'll probably have it like that most of the time like most gi joes he also comes with a backpack a nice individual sculpt just for him it's a bit minimalistic it has a little texture it has some zipper but the big thing sticking out are the tools and the reason they stand out is because of the silver paint there's the wrench and there's a blade and a pair of pliers and a pair of snips i wish they'd done some silver on the zipper pulls but 
maybe they're supposed to be black. There's a hole in the back, a big old long peg. You put that in, it sits mostly against his body. Looks pretty good. I like that it doesn't stick out too much. It's just what he needs and that's it. Comes with a gun of some kind. I'm assuming from what I know of the rest of the figures, this is reuse of a Nerf design. It's what we see on the package. And again, what we see with the rest of the line, some kind of futuristic design if you want to go that route. But also like most of the others, there's a big peg sticking out the side. For that you have a hole in the backpack and if you want to store it away, which I'm guessing mine will be most of the time, you can push that right against there. There's an old school cartoony style dynamite with a timer on it. And I don't mean for that to sound bad. It just, you know, with everything else modernized or even futuristic with these figures, it's odd to just, you know, go cowboy style with it. He's gonna blow the door off that safe, Sheriff. Oops. <laughs> he was just barely holding on to the slot that is in the bottom of that. The slot is actually so you can put it on the peg on the bottom of the backpack. It's nice and secure. There's kind of a snap to it. And that's another reason for the butt plate because <laughs> just exposed dynamite, you back into something too hard and uh... <laughs> comes with this neat little drone. I like the sculpt to it. It's almost like a little robotic buddy, but at the same time, you know it's not because of another accessory in a minute. Excellent little turbine sculpt on the top. You have the red paint for the eye or the camera. Some articulation to the legs. Maybe when it's flying, it's But you go to land it, you put the legs down. Boop. But the feet are also to plug into the top of the backpack. Right there. Put it there and it holds on really really well. You also fold the legs down and you kind of like that. Working on bombs is a sweaty job. You want some fans to your back, you know, cool yourself off. Also in the original, wow that's really tough on there, in the original Hasbro solicitation pictures they had the drone carrying the explosives and I'm pretty sure it was just sitting up on the feet because that slots down there, those feet do plug in, but it's almost like they snap themselves out of it. Well, it can hold on like that. And then from what I hear, this is the controller for the drone. You can have Firefly holding it, doing the control. Take the backpack off and it stores in the back right there. There's a round sculpted piece. You can see it inverted in the backpack. That's where it plugs in. Drone up top, plug the explosives in the bottom. And then like other figures in the line, one of the major perks is you have all the accessories stored on the figure. Firefly stands six and an eighth inches tall, which is about normal height compared to other characters in the line like Beachhead and Cobra Trooper. But the magic happens when you start putting all your Cobra guys together, like with the G.I. Joe classified series Cobra Commander or the Amazon exclusive Storm Shadow or Baroness and Destro. But he also looks great when you're pitting him against those darn G.I. Joes like Duke and Scarlet. He's gonna need all the explosives he can get for Roadblock and Gung Ho. I have no problem whatsoever retiring my stand-in Firefly, the Fortnite oh, Havoc. That's it. It took me a minute. But my custom Outback is going to have to stay on the shelf for a bit. The G.I. Joe Classified series does fit in fairly well with the Marvel Legends MCU characters like Deadpool and Captain America, but they are a bit large for Star Wars, whether it be Black Series or SH Figure Arts. It seems like the hinge in the abs were stuck and <laughs> there was a pop and I thought, oh no, I did it. I broke it. But now I can actually get a slight crunch to it. It's just hindered, but you can get a little bit. So at the end of the day, I still have that initial thought in my head. I love this figure. I don't even mind the reuse. I love all the details. I love how it's changed up so much by a different paint job and an alternate head. Okay, and a big rubber armored overlay. But the feel is so much different. It's unmistakably Firefly. Yeah, I would rather have a more traditional look to them, but there's also something to be said for this look. It makes sense in a, hey, I deal with explosives on a daily basis. I kind of want to protect myself. And, but then you look in his eyes and you think, huh, this crazy guy, I don't think he'd mind too much if he blew a hand off or a leg. It feels like the classic brought into the modern age and it matches the aesthetic of most of the other figures in the line, and I, I can't ask for much more than that. Or, well, we're still expecting that classified retro collection where it goes full on 80s, but I don't think we'll see that for a bit. What I'm hoping to see soon, though, is the Cobra Island figures get reissued in the main line, either with different paint jobs or different accessories stripped down a bit, like we saw with the Cobra Trooper. If we can get 
the trooper out on the regular market where we can pre-order as many as we want at any retailer we want, then that's the way to go. I'm hoping to see the same for Beachhead and now Firefly and then the Viper I haven't been able to get my hands on yet. I want chances at the figures and that's what makes the toy line continue is people actually getting this stuff in their hands instead of getting so frustrated that they give up. We don't want that. We want the line to continue. So Hasbro, Target, get on it. <laughs> Let's learn our lesson and if there is another Cobra Island wave, please do it better. So if you enjoyed the review, comment, like, subscribe. Much, much love to the plus if you're interested in seeing videos early or just in a position to help out the channel, patreon.com. Wherever you may be watching this, I'll always catch you on the foosh. <laughs>